Good morning, everyone. Nandri Williams here for Trends for Living Ministries. And for Monday Motivation, today I wanted to encourage you to spiritually map the territories that God has given you. In Joshua chapter 1, God, you know, um, says to Joshua that wherever the soles of your feet shall tread upon, that place is yours to possess. So God has given us lands, he's given us territories in the realms of the spirit, in the natural, he's given us places to occupy and that's why he turned to the church and he said occupy until i come your office your job your business is for occupation your home uh, your ministry is for occupation it's a it's a means and a tool with which you occupy so my question to you is this are you spiritually mapping those places so when you go to work have you sat down thought about it prayed about it looked and observed and studied and ask God in the spirit, how do I take over this territory? How do I serve God? How do I do what God wants? How do I do it? So um, I just wanted to leave this word with you. And that is that it's important that I spiritually map the places. And also you build an altar. You literally take that ground. You pray and you say, Father, Lord Jesus, have your way. I, as I place my feet upon this ground i take it for jesus i take it for jesus in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ and then you arrest contrary forces you arrest every other power and you paralyze them so that at work you know you have taken the ground for jesus and if there are other believers at work with you you join your faith with theirs and you pray that prayer god has called us to occupy until he comes and the only way that we can do it is by faith and taking territories and as you go out just be conscious and be aware that the enemy is also watching your life. But that's nothing for you to be afraid of. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. However, just be conscious. Like the children of Israel, they went out, they went to war, they were going to Canaan. And they got to the land of Moab. And God had given them an instruction. He said, be very careful. I don't want you to marry any of the women in this land. I don't want you to do, you know. God gave them particular instructions about the women. He gave them particular instructions about, the, about when to take the booty, when to take the um sheep when to take the the gold jewelry he told them he gave them instructions so don't let your heart be taken away with, with wealth don't let your heart be taken away with flattery and do not be taken away with relationships because in every territory there are principalities there are powers there are ruling things that dominate those territories so my question to you is this what is ruling or what was ruling before you arrived in your territory are you conscious of their influence their influence over your life their influence over your mind their influence over your home their influence over your children children and have you broken those powers that's the only way you can take that territory and are you violent in the spirit to resist resist to submit yourself to god humility is the only way through warfare that's well not the only way but one of the main things through warfare so as we bow down before god we humble ourselves the bible says in due season he will lift us up and the only way you cannot come to the enemy in pride if god has called you to a territory let's seek god first let's pray let's persevere let's wait in prayer and let's ask him for direction let's ask him to spiritually map those environments give us insight and lead us into the battle victory is yours this week no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper may god bless you may he keep you may he cause his face to shine upon you and may he give you peace in the mighty name of jesus victory 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 is yours this week god bless you Nandrew williams here for treasures for living ministries if this has been a blessing to you like it share it subscribe it don't keep any good messages to yourself share it, it will be a blessing to somebody and you help to change lives